Now do y'all know what I mean when I said, don't put all your eggs in the 2021 basket. When I said, we just got here, go in quietly and don't touch anything. See what I'm saying? And I wasn't trying to be a negative Nancy, but okay. Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. Today is Sunday, so you might wanna press pause because, oh no. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's mimosas and makeup. I have my canned wine, my favorite canned wine, Euphoria today. So if you need to press pause and grab, grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever, you can do that. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me today. Today I am sharing with you my favorites for the month of December. So if that sounds interesting to you, keep on watching this video. Let me know what some of your favorites were for last month and definitely consider subscribing. You know I want you to come back. All right, let's get started. This week, y'all, we all deserve a drink. That's all I can say. You know, hopefully, this video will be a little bit of an escape from what's going on because I'm the type of person like I'll be on CNN all day, all day. Like I'll just have it running. So things like YouTube videos or, or TV shows, music, those provide me a little break within the chaos. So thank you for being here with me. Let's get right into it. Ironically for my favorites this month, I don't have a whole lot of makeup per se. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's because all of it's still stuck somewhere. Actually, I know where it's stuck. And I did a post office investigation and they're just kind of like, they just may not have the employees to get that makeup to you. But it's in Maryland. It's literally like 45 minutes away. So I really didn't have too much new to talk about. First on my favorites list, is my facial steamer. Now, I have seen some conflicting views on whether or not facial steaming is beneficial. However, I have had issues with acne breakouts. I probably mentioned like in the form of whiteheads on my chin and mainly in this area right here. And I will squeeze them, I know. And I was putting awful things on those whiteheads to try to make them go away. Peroxide and alcohol. And I just think that was a bad idea. What I noticed about this facial steamer, and I did purchase this from Amazon, and I will have it linked in the description box, is that it would naturally open up those whiteheads and allow them to, you know, drain. This is nasty. This doesn't even sound good. Okay. It just naturally helped me to get rid of them. And I actually didn't necessarily have like whiteheads. I have what I believe is called milia and they're just little bumps under the skin and there was no way for them to open up. When I started steaming my face, it kind of brought them to the surface and now it, it was it was really ugly at first. I'm sure you didn't really see it too much on my videos cause I try to cover it up, but it's getting better and better. So this has been a huge help. Now, the cool thing about this facial steamer is that it can be a towel warmer as well as a humidifier in addition to being a facial steamer. So this was definitely a worthwhile purchase. And I believe this was $50. And it also came with those tools, those skin tools that I was not touching because I'm, mm -mm, nope. But I think that's been like, one of the best things I've bought because yeah, I know that squeezing pimples and things like that is not really a good idea. Don't do it. So in dealing with the acne on my chin, I think that I have invested a lot in expensive skincare and I'm not saying that it doesn't have its benefits. This year or last year really, I've done a lot with Tatcha products as well as use to the people. Oh my God, I still can't say that. Now that I realize that my skin may be slightly oily, I think it's important for me to make sure that the skincare that I'm purchasing is geared towards that. And if I'm struggling with acne, the skincare products I'm using 
should be geared towards that. So I probably mentioned in another video, I was using the Biore cleanser for pores. It had like uh, activated charcoal in it. That really, really helped this area right here. But then I went to the store and bought a whole bunch of Neutrogena products because I didn't really know what else to do. And one thing that I was looking at was that you can purchase makeup that has some skincare stuff included with it to help that acne during the day while you're wearing makeup. So that's why I went to Neutrogena. Now, y'all let me know what y'all think about those products. I know it's drugstore and I know that there are tons and tons of skincare products and makeup that includes skincare, but I, I don't know them all, I'm just learning. So let me show you what I got because it's been very helpful. The first thing I bought is this oil-free acne moisturizer and it has pink grapefruit in it. Again, these products are gonna be by Neutrogena because I didn't know what else to do. And it says clears breakouts and provides lightweight moisture and it has salicylic acid in it. It's a salicylic acne treatment moisturizer. So this is it right here <laughs> in a nutshell. This is what it does. I've been using this as my main face moisturizer before I do my makeup. It smells good. I don't really need the smell though. So, but I do feel like it's helped with the management of the acne on my chin. And again, it's just pretty much this one area. I mean, I had some over here, but it's really just right up in here. I don't know what is going on. All right, the other thing that I purchased was the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. And this is a tinted moisturizer. It is a moisturizing retinol treatment, and it also has SPF 20 in it, and it helps to even tone. And this is the shade medium tan, no tan to medium 50. So this is something that I'm also putting on. I feel like this has really helped. I also have the Radiant Primer Plus Serum Healthy Skin with Pet, okay. So I also purchased this Radiant Primer and Serum. It has peptides in it and that's what it looks like. And you can use this as a primer before you put your makeup on. I actually love this stuff. And I do feel like I use it today. I feel like I look radiant. I mean, you know. And then I have the Neutrogena Prep and Correct Primer and this is tone correcting. So I basically I went to Walgreens and bought everything that Neutrogena had. That, that's basically what happened. Um, I also bought this Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup with Micro Clear Technology, and it is a blemish treatment with the salicylic acid. I'm not using this as my main foundation, it's not even the right color, but I have been mixing this a little bit with my foundation or my tinted moisturizer just along this area. So I feel like this has really helped, and I am grateful. Now, one of the things when I do feel those whiteheads approaching, Aileen over at Amerge Beauty had recommended this by First Aid Beauty. This is the BHA Acne Spot Treatment Gel, and it has 2% salicylic acid, and it's safe for sensitive skin. Did I say it's by First Aid Beauty? So I do put this on, and I feel like it just helps speed up the process. So I've been using this as well. Okay, is that it for acne? I don't want to talk about acne anymore. All right, so moving on. Okay, so I purchased this during the Sephora VIB sale. This is the Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. I love this stuff. I feel like this has really kept my lips super soft. I do put it on at night, but I use it as a lip balm. You're probably not supposed to do that. But I did want to mention this because this is something that I am really using on a daily basis, and I really like it. It's thick. It has melatonin in it, so I'm guessing it's very calming for your lips if you have any type of irritations or dryness. But using this stuff, I haven't had any issues with dryness, so I'm really glad I purchased this. I think I may have mentioned these sometime before, but these are my Hum Mighty Night vitamins and it helps overnight cell renewal for the skin and body. It has ceramides, CoQ10, ferulic acid, and valerian root. Now the reason that I bought this is because of the valerian root. So valerian, like I have the valerian essential oil, but I cannot diffuse it because it smells horrible. But valerian is very good for sleep. And I noticed that when I take two of these, I feel like within about 20 minutes, I just start to feel a lot calmer. So backstory is that my sleep habits are bad. And one of my goals right now is to try to put myself to sleep on purpose or go to bed on purpose. And this has really helped me because at night, 
I often have racing thoughts. I'm often thinking about what I didn't get done, what I'm going to need to do in the morning. I'm looking on social media. Sometimes I want to put on a movie. I mean, I just have a lot of things going on in my mind, but I do feel like these vitamins are very, very helpful for me at nighttime. So I have been taking these consistently enough now to say that I believe that they work and I need to get some more. Yeah. So what it says is renewal overnight, wake up bright. Mighty night helps support skin cell turnover while you sleep, scavenge free radicals, boost sleep quality and improve skin tone. It's formulated with ubiquinol, the most absorbable form of CoQ10 to give your skin and body the ultimate renewal. It is a dream come true. I did purchase these from Sephora. I know you can purchase them from the hum website as well. So I know I've mentioned these before. These are my Jupiter organic CBD drops. Now I first heard about these on about face with Mona. She is a content creator here on YouTube and these are pretty pricey. I believe they're about $70, but these are really good. Like if you have anxiety, these are so good. That's all I can really say. You take a dropper full, I, I believe I take them once or twice a day when I remember. So basically to take these, you fill the dropper and you hold it under your tongue for 30 seconds. That's it. And then you swallow it. It tastes like peppermint and oil. <laughs> I love these. And I do keep it in this thing here because with, with a lot of oils and things like that, especially like essential oils, they need to be in a dark bottle. This isn't a dark bottle though, but I like to put it in here just to make sure they stay extra safe because they are expensive. I do feel like those work and taking them consistently given the state of affairs right now. Okay, another thing that I've been using are my Aracacia essential oils in tea tree and eucalyptus. Basically what I do with these, tea tree I will put on my face. I think tea tree is like a miracle oil. You can pretty much put tea tree on anything and it will help it. So I do put tea tree oil on my acne, but only a little bit and just on the spot because tea tree oil is strong but tea tree oil is antifungal. There are so many benefits to it and it has kind of a medicinal smell. I really do enjoy it. And eucalyptus is really good for breathing. So what I do with both of these sometimes is just put a drop or two in the shower. I do it for the boys too. And that's how I use these oils. Um, Our Acacia isn't a brand that I use a lot, but I do have some oils by this brand and I believe that they are, they're pretty good quality. So if you're interested in essential oils, these are some good ones. Mm, I love my oils y'all. I'm sorry, I'm kind of going out of order with my uh, favorites. It's just how they're set up on my bed. So I've had this for a while. This is my Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer. Is, has broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. I'm so sorry about the dirty uh, tube. This is a 12 hour primer. It has buildable coverage and it minimizes your pores and helps to brighten your skin. This is what I have on my face, no foundation today. And this is what I've been using lately, which is why I'm like, I cannot buy any more foundation cause I'm really not wearing any. I love this stuff and it took me some time to love it, but I think I was putting on too much. You don't need a lot of this. The texture's a little weird, but um, you don't need a lot. And I have just been using it with my BK Beauty 101 brush and I just stamp it all in. And this is what I'm using guys. Like it's great, it really is. And I have the shade medium tan. It is a little dark for me, but since I'm not using a lot, once I kind of stamp it in and diffuse it out, it's fine. So I've been using this with concealer and calling it a day. I have been loving this Maybelline New York Brow Ultra Slim Eyebrow Pencil. I don't know what I did with the tops. This is the shade Black Brown. I realized all this time, like, why am I getting a black 
eyebrow pencil. I just feel like sometimes the black for me looks a little unnatural with my skin tone, but the black brown is perfect. You know, I took a little masterclass by Bobbi Brown and she said don't get black and I proceeded to do that anyway. But this is my new favorite. So I'm still using my NYX micro brow pencil, but the next time I get it, I would get the black brown shade if they have one. But this is perfect and I love it. Okay. This is something I found in my drawer that I forgot that I had. This is a liquid bronzer by Juice Beauty and it has phyto pigments, whatever that is. So it looks like this and this is a really nice bronzer. Hold on, my camera's about to die. So the thing about this bronzer is if you don't like cream or liquid products, this is not gonna be for you, but let me show you. So that's what it looks like. And I think it works really nicely. And it blends in really well. You know, you gotta blend. I swear. Okay, so what I was gonna show you, try to show you, is that it blends in really nice, but you know, you, you gotta work it in. Don't use a whole lot. But I do like that bronzer. I'm gonna use it more. I've only used it a couple of times, but I'm definitely getting back into using liquidy, creamy makeup products. So that leads me to bringing out my Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Honey Glaze. I love this bronzer and I'm just so happy that I'm going back through my collection and shopping my stash and just finding a renewed love for things that I've purchased last year because yeah, y'all, last year was like, I'm just gonna chalk it up to learning but I can't, I can't do that again this year. So I've also pulled out my Fenty Cheeks Out Cream blushes as well. These are great. They are great. I have like 10 of them and every shade is great. Like I don't have one that I'm like, mm, I wish I didn't get that shade. They work really nicely. All of the shades I have. So I have been loving these in the past month. All right, let's see. We're actually almost done. I didn't have a whole lot, but next I have this Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Mist. It's called Always an Optimist, and you can use this for a primer and setting. But what I've been doing is for each... What I've been doing is for each step in my makeup routine, I am spraying my brushes with this spray. So when I do my foundation or my tinted moisturizer, I'm spraying my brush or my sponge with the setting spray. When I do my concealer, I am spraying my brush with this setting spray. And I just feel like it helps everything like meld. Is that the word I'm looking for? It just makes everything go together really, really nicely. And I don't have a caked up look because I feel like it doesn't take much for me to have a caked up look. And I know it doesn't look like that on camera, but when I look at myself in the mirror in person, like there's just, I just don't like that look and I see it on other people and I'm like nope I don't like it I don't like it so I want to make sure that the way that I look on camera and on my videos is the way that I look in person and I feel like when I first started to you know really get into makeup I was using a lot more product than I really needed to use. So the setting spray just kind of helps with every step to give me like that glowy and dewy look that I like to have. And that's just me, that's just like my preference. But um, this is a really good spray, I like it. Next, I have my eight piece mini lip liner set by KKW Beauty. Yes, yes, KKW Beauty, listen, I think one of her best products are her lip liners. I really like them a lot. And these are all nude tones. So let me see if I can, I'm not gonna swatch them all, but maybe you can see here, uh, maybe. They're all nude tones. And I've mentioned this before. Before I fell in love with Proper Beauty's lipsticks, the KKW Beauty lipsticks, especially the nudes, were my favorite because she has them ordered 
like by half steps. So she would have like a nude one, 1.5, two, 2.5, three, 3.5, all the way to nude eight. And what I liked about that is that each shade had a slight difference, but you never know like that slight difference might be a perfect nude for someone of whatever skin tone. And I just felt like the range was really good for fair to deep skin tones. So say what y'all want to about Kim Kardashian, but I thought that lip line was pretty good. I'm not saying it's the best, but what I am saying is that it's better than what I've seen from a lot of other brands. But I know some people may not really look at her, her beauty line because of who she is and they don't wanna contribute money to her, which I can completely understand, I get it. But there are brands that have been out here, drugstore brands, other brands that are just like excluding deeper skin tones, y'all. I ain't even gonna go into it. But it ain't KKW Beauty. I'll say that. I don't think it's her. Just saying. All right, last but not least, we're going to talk about a few fragrances. So a while back, I think I may have mentioned that my friend Jen over at Al Feisty had sent me some samples of Tom Ford Bitter Peach, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, and House of Siage Wonder Woman. I'm in love with all three of those fragrances, but I really cannot afford them. So I think I may have mentioned that I was gonna get like some knockoffs and I ended up doing that. So I purchased some fragrances by Alt and I kind of, here Camden outside my door. I really like them. So the first one is called Nico, Nico Tiana number 32. This is a knockoff of the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Now, it's not exactly the same, you know what I mean? But it has that tobacco smell. It actually smells really, really good. At first I was like, mm, because it's not gonna be exactly the same, you know what I mean? But on its own, this is a nice fragrance and I, really feel like it's unisex. Now, I did add some vanilla essential oils to it just because I love vanilla and I felt like it could use a little bit of vanilla, but I really like this a lot. I think this may have been $49 and then I got 20% off. This was doing like, you know, Christmas time, so they had a sale. So yes, I love this. I gotta fake it till I make it, y'all. This is another one I purchased. This is called Peach Smash number 20 and this is a knockoff of bitter peach this smells good but it's not bitter peach it's not but it still smells really good mm, i do like this <clears throat> okay and then i bought two samples so this one is called f and cherries so tom ford has a, a perfume called f and fabulous or whatever and then he has lost cherry so this sample is supposed to be a mix of both of those fragrances. And I love this one. I absolutely love this. I've never smelled Lost Cherry, so I can't compare it, but just on its own, I love this. And then I purchased this one. This is called Crystal Smash. I can't remember what, what this is a knockoff of, but I bought this in the sample size, but I like this one too. Mm, yes, I do. And last but not least, I bought Fireside Marshmallow. And this is a knockoff. You know, I'm gonna stop saying knockoff because that's not what it is. What they say on the website is that the fragrances are inspired by, and then they say what their brand name is. And I can see that because like I said, it's not an imitation, but you can tell how it's been inspired by, you know, the top, brands. So this one is inspired by the Mason Margiela replica perfume called By the Fireplace, I believe. And I like this one too. I haven't used this one as much because I've been using the little Tom Ford ones, but this 
reminds me of like, you heard Bath and Body Works had that warm vanilla sugar fragrance. It smells like that and kind of like marshmallow as well. Mm, that House of Siage Wonder Woman smells like marshmallow too. So I think that's why I picked this out. Anyway, I'm enjoying these alt fragrances. And like I said, you know, I'm going to fake it till I make it. And there have been some sales on the top four perfumes, but they're still pretty high, you guys. Like even 15% off, it's good, but it's still pricey. So for Christmas, my mom got me the Tom Ford Tobacco Vani Body Spray, and it was lost. Can y'all see that? It was lost and it just arrived. So I like this. Now, I've heard some people complain and say it's not the same as the, the Parfum or whatever. I think with body spray, it may not last as long, but it still gives the same scent. Now, this, mm, mm. So this, like when you spray it, it's like an aerosol. So at first you have to let it sit. Y'all. I don't know why I like the smell of this tobacco so much, but it's good y'all. That's all I can say. So as far as favorites, that's it for December. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my favorites and um, I'll have everything linked in the description box below in case you're interested in any of these items, but that's all I got. So thank you so, so much for taking out some of your time and giving it to me. And I really do appreciate you guys watching the video, <clears throat> excuse me, and hanging out. I can't say this enough right now. Please take care of yourself. Do what you need to do to take care of yourself. It is a lot going on. It is unbelievable what is going on. Unbelievable, unreal. And like I said, and I, like I said, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer. Sometimes you think we can only go up from here and then we get shown something else. Like, nah, it really, we might not have hit rock bottom yet, you know? So I say that to say, do what you need to do to make sure that you are taking care of yourself physically and mentally because that is going to be so important. I don't know what else to say. I'm a little bit tongue tied, but you know, I have developed a relationship with a lot of you on here and I really do care. So take care of yourself. Make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe. And I will see y'all really, really soon. Bye.